Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a really super shiny, very, very glitzy um, gift card purse or wallet. Um, and um, yeah, I just think it's it's a really, really fun, nice way to, to gift a gift card instead of just putting it in an envelope um, or a card. You can pop it in a little purse like this. So the papers that I'm using, um, I recently picked up these two paper packs in um, Poundland in the UK and um, they're really really nice and I did show a Christmas one, I can't remember what it was on, whether it was on a tutorial or a Facebook live but they, this particular pack here and I'm going to be using the this one, this particular pattern today but can you see it's all embossed so it's all lifted off the off the card and they're all they've all got this really nice kind of um, sheen to them um, so you get five, I think, of each, yeah, and then there's this one here, springtime, again, it's all, every single page is embossed, um, that one's really nice, just the little flowers on it, but they're all lifted up, you can just about make it out, um, that one's lovely, I mean, that's like a ready-made card, you just die cut that as a set, you know, with a circle die, mount it on some foam, pop it on a card, um, that one there, again, really nice, all raised, really textured they're lovely and then the last one's that one there which again I thought was really quite sweet so yeah if you can get those ones but also I picked up this one which I love I love foiled papers and these are just brilliant so this is the one I used for that one there I mean you can just see the the shine got some fun pumpkins there and pumpkins um, <laughs> pineapples um then you got that one that's really cool love 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 um arrows Quite fashionable the arrows are. Um, that one, it's all, yeah, I guess it's got quite a tribal feel to it. They're really good. Um, another kind of abstract one there, which is great. And that one, so I think you get two of each. And then those hearts are really nice as well. So yeah, so if you can get into your pound land, at the moment I cannot fault some of the craft stuff that you can find in any of the pound shops. You've got pound land, Pound World, and there's another one. Is there? I'm sure there's three. Anyway, they're really, really good, and I've been sharing the, the finds and things that I've been find, finding in the, the shops at the moment um, recently. So yeah, um, try and check them out. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. So show you closer up actually, so you can see there, there's 17 flowers that I have punched using this little one here. Really standard, inexpensive punch. Yeah, when you use, I used a gold Miri card, and then inside the, in each one there's a little gold embellishment as well. Um, but it's just gorgeous. And then I've got a little trim along the top there, and then this again on the back. It's all, it's literally a shrunk down version of my black clutch bag that I'd done. I'll share the link to that up here somewhere, um, because that was lovely and I've had lots of people. It's one of my favourite things and I still have that one just in my little show cabinet. Um, but inside here, when you open it up, it's only thin, you can see there, it's very thin, but this is what will hold your gift card. So I'm gonna make this look a bit better and I haven't got a proper gift card for it yet. This is just to go into a stash so that then when I do get a gift card, I've got a nice thing ready to go. And you could put a nice sentiment on here so you could have happy birthday, you know, in gold embossed powder there on the front as well, mounted on like a white rectangle or something. That would look really nice as well. But I've made this myself, just cut little um, slots into the um, card there and then you can pop your gift card and you could write a message on the back of this as well. So that is what we're going to be making. It's very, very easy to do. So let's crack on. So I've done, oh, I've already done all my flowers. I've done enough tutorials showing how to make flowers. Um, you just need a nice soft piece of foam and some of these tools here, which I've shared in previous tutorials and links to them. You can buy them off of eBay, um, but even the nail um, ones that you get, these are actually for making, um, for cake making. So making, you know, the leaves and stuff um, for the cakes. So, but they work perfectly for paper and card. So that's what I've used. I just used the, that one there. You just punch out the flower, pop it on here, rub it in the middle, like that one there, you just push down in the middle until it all starts to lift up and just brings them to life a bit. So 
that is optional you don't need to do that you can just lift them up yourself if you wanted but anyway I've done 17 and I've done a mixture of pink orange and purple to match the pinks oranges and purples in the paper so like I said this is the one that I've chosen here to use so you need some velcro dots just to obviously um, put it together let me just pop these off here so I've already shown you the punch that I used um, I don't know where this one was from it says family treasures on the front and then it just says patent pending career so it don't really give me much but you can pick these up in like Hobbycraft and on eBay and places like that okay so you need one piece of six by six which is going to form your main case I'll do the scoring as well while we're here. So along one of the six inch sides, you want to score at two and five eighths of an inch, two and three quarters of an inch, two and seven eighths of an inch, three inches, three and one eighth of an inch, three and a quarter, and three and three eighths of an inch. So basically from the five, from the two and five eighths of an inch, you're scoring at every one eighth of an inch all the way up to three and three eighths of an inch okay if I just bring that up there you can see and that's going to be the curved base that we will have on our little purse um, the, again this is all the same as that I did um, process that I did in the um, clutch bag so that's the, for the main case then for your flaps so of the lid over the top this is a piece of one and three quarters by six and you want to score along the short side you want to score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch, okay, just like so. I've just already rounded off the edges there as well to the of the right hand side. So where you've done those first two score lines, the larger right hand side here, that's where you want to corner punch, okay. Um, then <clears throat> for the sides, these pieces are one and a quarter by two and five eighths of an inch. So you need two pieces and along the shortest side you're going to score at a quarter of an inch, five eighths of an inch and one inch. So you should have either side two quarter inch sides and then the um, score line going right through the middle of the, all the card, you know, the full um, width of the card there just goes right through the middle. Two pieces like that. Then I've got this tiny little strip along the top. I don't know, I just thought it looked nice from the back. Just again, just a little detail. If you want to add that in, this piece is, it's just under a quarter of an inch. So you may need to trim, so on your trimmer, just pull it in slightly so it's just under a quarter of an inch. And that is by five and seven eighths of an inch. Then the two pieces to decorate, so on the front and back, this is five and seven eighths of an inch by two and a half two pieces and then for your piece in the middle so that's actually going to hold your gift card I have got the matte piece is five and three quarters by two and five eighths and then the piece to go on top and this is the piece that we're going to put the actual gift card onto is two and three eighths of an inch by five and a half as always all of those measurements will be in my blog but I know some people do you know write them down as I say them so that's everything you need we've done all the scoring so we can get right into it now I've already put my heat gun on so that's getting nice and hot now what you want to do with this is um, let me grab my bone tool and you're just going to burnish each score line and obviously because they're so close together just take a little bit of time just to make sure you're getting them lined up because you can easily go across to you know the one next to it so I'm just literally getting each one and once you start it off they quite easily to the very end on there just fall into place so it should be I think it's six all together and this just gives you a nice little curved base rather than a flat one so again it's just doing something different rather than it being the same all the time um, I can kind of make out if you haven't done one because you can see it doesn't so there's that last one there there we go and by doing that now you just naturally get a nice curved bottom to your little case okay so that was that that's easy peasy then we've got our two side pieces so what you want to do here is the two on the outside fold up 
because they're going to go inside and then that one fold down so you're creating an M shape like that. Okay, so do that on the other one. Okay, so you'll have two like that. Then what you want to do is on the outsides, outsides, on the outer sides even, so oh, my tape's got stuck there. Just get rid of that end. Okay, so with your M facing up the right way, you want to run, this is a really, really thin tape, so it's good for this one. Um, you want to run your red tape along the outside. Okay, so there's the M shape, you're running it along that outside there. So again, if I just do the other one there, and you just want to do that on both of them, like so. Okay, so just do that on your next one. Okay, so just make sure that that's all stuck down nicely and you've got no little white air bubbles or anything. Okay, and then if you just take, do one first, just take one side off. Oh. <laughs> a bit fiddly, there we go. And start from the front, doesn't really matter, but you're going to line up the bottom of this with the very top score line inside here. Okay, so again, exactly how I done the clutch bag like so. So the M is, is inside the um, little case so that when we stick this piece over everything's concealed inside and it's just a little concertina just to be able to expand it enough for you to get that gift card out. And then take the other one off. Oh sorry no leave that one on, do the other side, it's just easier that way. So this time, so that M one is going in facing that way, we're going to take this back one off first. Okay. Again, you want it so it's right at the bottom score line, hogging the outer part of your case all the way up, like so. Now I've gone a little bit higher there, can you see it's just slightly coming over so I'm just going to trim that off. It's not going to make any difference to the, um, you know, the final finished pipe, um, piece so don't worry. If you're a little bit up there, so just gone higher on one side. Then you need to take off this side here. Again, do one at a time still, you've got enough room because it's got that little bit of the concertina to it, you can expand it to do the other end. And again now, you just want to make sure you get it right on the top of that score line, right on the outer part, all the way up to the top, like so. Okay, so you've just created this little side now. Nice and easy. And then this one here, a little bit fiddly, but should still work. And again, just hold it in place there, like so, like that. Okay, so now we've got this nice little pocket coming together. Then we are going to, I've got a bit of a thing with white at the moment, I seem to be using loads of white card. <laughs> I know it doesn't always, um, it's not good for filming with, but I love it, so I'm sorry. Um, so now that is going to mat on top perfectly, and I think that's why I just love the white border and background that you get with white cards. So I think that's obviously why I magnet to it. That and craft cards, you could just leave me with those two and I'll be happy. Um, so we stick this down, so I'm just going to grab some wet glue. You can use double sided tape, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to put a thin layer around this and you just want to put one on the front and one on the okay. back so that's all stuck down obviously if it's directional paper you're using make sure it's all facing up so that's that piece now we can attach our lid so like I said I've already rounded off the edges there so you just need to burnish those two score lines and then all you want to do so this is that little piece here just to give you that kind of, if you're putting something thicker in there, you could put a thin bar of chocolate with it as well. Um, or you could put lots, I say lots of money, but if you've got a, a substantial wad of money that you're giving to someone in cash, that would fit in there as well if you've wrapped it up a little bit. Or you could make this, extend this um, so it's a longer width so it would fit the notes in 
just like a normal purse would. So what you want to do is that's the way the lid's going to be, lift it up and you want to glue inside just that, that bottom half inch piece. Don't go into the little quarter inch um, score line in the middle. So I've probably put a bit too much glue there so I'm just going to rub that off a bit. Like so. That looks about right. And then choose if you've got a preference the pattern paper. This is pretty much, I've got a really nice even amount of flowers on both sides so I'm not too worried. So I'm just sticking it up to that score line. Okay, you can see there you're just sticking it up to there. You're not sticking it up to that one there. Like so. And then it will fold on over giving you this lovely little purse. Now if you want to do the flowers with this off then don't put this piece on because the next bit I'm going to do is the flowers but the reason I've done it with it on is I think I can look at my arrangement a bit easier and with it all complete whereas if I was to do it separate and then put it on and I didn't wasn't happy with it I kind of can't really change it so so that's all in place then I'm going to pop a velcro dot on it um, again just find one it's got its little front and back and pop your velcro dot in the middle near to the end okay like so fold it over make sure that it expands out filling that little quarter inch piece on the top and then squeeze it together okay and then open it up and you can just make sure that they're attached on both sides like so and then again completely optional is that little strip but I just quite liked um, that little extra piece of detail so I'm going to try and get the last of this glue off here I think I might have to put a little bit more on there and that is just to run along that uh, top part okay so now it's the fun part of sticking all the flowers so I'm just going to um, oh actually no what I'm going to do first before that is I'm going to do the gift card I think my glue gun still needs just a little bit longer to heat up so You've got these two pieces here. Now, before you stick it down, you want to get this bit here, and I'm going to grab that little card that I've got here and just take this one off of that one. So, this is just a standard credit card size, um, should be universal size, and you just want to sit it in the middle of this piece. And with a pencil, I'm going to draw around an equal corner okay so it's about three-eighths of an inch coming around each way you want to make sure they're kind of as even as possible because you're going to cut from corner to corner on each one so again like so and that one we can rub all this out in a minute okay so I've got equal if I just bring that up you can see there what I've done now we're going to cut with our knife from there to there on each one that's why I said you need to make sure that these are kind of the same on each corner about three eighths of an inch. Um, so I've got my cutting knife and metal ruler and basically I'm just going to line my ruler up so it sits from corner to corner of that pencil mark and then with my knife just cut, watch your thumbs, cut across corner to corner. So if I just bring that up now you can see I've just cut through. I'm just go and do that on each of those. Okay, and then you can just rub out those pencil marks. I might have gone a bit heavier with my pencil there so I can flip this piece over. It won't matter. Yeah, you can still see them there. I mean, if you want to decorate it with pattern paper and stuff, you can, but that's the other side. I'll just use that side. And that's going to go on top like so. And then your card will fit in all of these. So you do one side first, push it in, and then kind of just bend the card a little bit just to fit it in like so and it will fit in there nicely and then that can go like so so all I'm going to do is just put some wet glue just along this is I go through so much glue just going to run it along this bit here And then in the middle, 
because you'll still be able to bend the whole piece of card to get the gift card in and out so it won't stop that it won't obstruct it in any way you just want to make sure it obviously does stick it right up to the edges on this bit okay and then again you can just stick that down you'll get a nice even border like I said if you want to write your message you can I've got a feeling yeah I've just ripped that typical <laughs> well for the video you can see it's okay but just there see I've cut it I'm not happy about that so we have to redo that I obviously went too close to the edge so there you go don't do that but otherwise it's fine see all the other sides are perfect so if you want to go a little bit thicker maybe just to not have that happen like I just did then I would say maybe go you could do two and a half you just have a slightly less of a white frame um yeah maybe otherwise it's fine like that the way I've done it anyway so but I'm going to keep it for the video anyway so that's all ready and like I said you can write your message and everything on the back but I think that looks really nice you could put some little flowers on here same flowers that are on the front like so that would look really nice as well because it's got room to fit like that inside okay so now I'm going to get this bit here I've got my heat gun which is now dripping glue this is a really really cheapy cheapy one and then you just want to start laying them out so on here I've got one in each corner, which is what I done first, and then kind of done that one, then that one, that one, that one, that one, kind of my, work my way along. So first of all, I'm gonna get this orange one. Little piece of glue, you don't need much at all. And just pop that one up into the corner, like so. And I'm gonna go in with a purple one. Again, a little bit of glue. Try and get rid of all the string before you stick it. And you just wanna kind of nestle them into each other so you get a really kind of packed look about it so you can see there that's that one already and then I'm going to add in pink one again keeping them nice and close together like so okay and I'm just going to now work my way along and then when at the end you can see the pattern that I've done and then you can just follow um, when you okay, go to do yours. there you go. That is all of my 17 flowers on. I think that looks so nice, totally brings it to life. And again, you could obviously do this on a much bigger scale. If you wanted to put a handle on here now, you can as well. Um, did I have an example? I think I did grab something before, but I haven't got it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. So now you can just open it up inside and you can push down on the flowers as well. It's not gonna you know, affect them. And then that will sit perfectly with your little message inside. And like I said, there's room for money in there as well. And a little, you could put another little card in there as well, like a tall, thin um, little greeting card as well. So I think it's just a really nice way, like I said, with a little sentiment there. I'm not putting mine on yet because I just like them plain until I need them. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So a lot of flowers, <laughs> a lot of punching there with or die cutting, but... That's the part of crafting I like. You know, I enjoy doing all of that. So um, you don't have to maybe go as crazy as I have with them. But um, I just, yeah, I think it looks rather cute. So there you have it, guys. Hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.